escalator lunges. In some styles of Pilates, they call these front splits. Uh, we're going to call them escalator lunges. So you will need your platform on the uh, reformer over the spring carriage. And if you are using one of these wooden ones, just make sure that people focus on the space in between the two lines. That's the most stable part of the platform. So you're going to put one foot in between those two lines on the platform, and you're up on the toes of that foot. That's going to be your back leg. Front foot comes onto the carrot. It doesn't matter how far you go towards the shoulder rests. So from here, get your balance, softening the front knee, shoulders back and down, draw the belly in. So this is a really good one for your core, as well as your thighs, your butt and your hamstrings. So we inhale. Using the front leg to press forward, making sure that the front knee finishes over the ankle, back leg is straight, and then exhale, squeeze everything back in as you return. So inhale, pressing with the front heel as you lunge down, aiming for front thigh to come parallel to the floor at the bottom if you can, and then exhale to rise back up. So you're thinking of pushing and pulling with your front heel, that's going to activate your butt and your hamstrings. When you're down there, you can actually add some little hamstring curls. So it would be an exhale to extend the leg and then an inhale to come back in, just slightly bring the heel past the knee line. So slightly extending and then slightly bending, drawing back in. Obviously, if you have people in your class that are a little bit iffy with balance, you can have them use the pole to hold on to. And also, if it's just not working for them, please feel free to do your regular lunges facing towards the front with your front foot on the floor and your back foot up against the shoulder rest because it does require a lot of stability and a lot of 